Well, this all started, I think, about 2004 when we bought this property and started milking sheep. And one of the one of the major problems we had at the time was flies. And when the sheep were coming in to be milked, they were just covered in flies. And it got to the stage in November there in the early years where we actually milked with fly nets on. And my wife heard Bernard uh, Daub talking on the radio regarding dung beetles, and in particular the bison. And we started to we bought these original bison in, and uh, they, 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 they've started from there, they've bred like rabbits and at the current, in our current situation, the milking flock, which are from maiden ewes upwards to full mouth ewes, haven't been milked, haven't been uh, drenched in the last four years. But the fly problem has also has dissipated. Now you'll see the odd fly that comes in, but hardly any at all. And uh, you can see out in the paddock as, as um, these, these blokes, they, they dig a hole there that you can fit your finger down and they dig down up to 600 mil deep and they take everything with them <clears throat> and that, that just stops a lot of the fly breeding and uh, yeah, they, they, they've done a marvellous job and uh, it's, it's certainly made our job as far as milking a damn sight easier. We also, in the last month or so, have had the opportunity to, with Cathy Dawson from from the Landcare mob down at Manjimup, we've had the chance to get hold of these bubalus, as she calls them, I call them bubalus, and we've just got them in cages at the moment of breeding, and they are absolutely going a million miles an hour at the moment. They have had a lot of trouble with them, trying to breed them. Um, hopefully, we'll be successful. The main reason that we're doing this is so that we can continue on with this uh, control of or getting rid of the, all the manures for a longer period and then and hence we'll, we'll keep the, the fly problem uh, uh, down to a minimum over a lot longer period as well. With, with, with the, the burying of all the manure, it, it certainly stops the, the fly cycle. Uh, not only that, all of that manure is taken underneath the, the, the soil. The, the holes that are there, obviously this, 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 this dung, the, 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 dung the, 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 the earthworms are going to get busy with that. So the whole soil structure, instead of being 100 mil deep, there's a possibility it could end up a uh, hundred or three, four hundred deep, and uh, you can see out in the paddock with all the soil disturbance uh, how deep they are going. Uh, I have seen some holes where there's enough dirt there you could fill a shovel, and especially where the horse has been. So that, that, that will break down all the fly cycles and from there on in, hopefully, um, it, I don't think we'll ever see the point where we're exactly fly free, but it's certainly a lot, a lot further in front than what we are or what we have been.
as a producer, I, I can only see benefic benefits from the dung beetles, uh, financially especially, because from what you've read and what I've heard, uh, there'll certainly be a lot less fertiliser that need to be purchased, uh, a lot less par a lot more pasture to go with it, and the only the only person that's going to benefit out of that are my livestock and myself, and and the business that we run. We run a sheep dairy and a cheese factory, and we've at the end of the day, uh, like we, we've, we've won some fairly substantial awards over the years. And one of the things that I tell everybody is that the end product is only as good as the grass that my animals are consuming. And that's where it all starts. So if you've got everything looking good out in the paddock, the sheep are all going to be a lot healthier. And you don't, you, you don't, if you're not drenching, there's a lot less invasive on the animal. And Hopefully, yeah, well, it will be in the end a lot more profit. That's in farming. That's the name of the game: is to make a profit, which in today's world is getting harder and harder. But yeah, hopefully that it, it'll all work well, work worth its while. But also on the on the shop side, we have a, a shop front here on our property, and we get tourists from all over the world. And some of their comments from those people are that these cheeses are as good as they've seen anywhere in the world. And one thing that, um, in particular, people from Singapore who don't know what a fly looks like, um, the last thing they want to be doing is developing the Australian wave and, and shooing flies all day. So that's one thing that we have noticed that the fly, the flies around the area, around the shop, are, are nothing compared to what they were when we first started. So yeah, it's so far, thus far, it's all all well worth its effort. Um, I did say to Kathy. Before there's a fair there's a fair bit of work involved in not so much work but time involved in in keeping and breeding these dung beetles. But I see it as a benefit to not only myself but as to farming in general, because hopefully we can all get out there in time to come, and we can all benefit from what we're doing.